Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement onboarding screens in your Flutter application. We have an image and a title and a description and we can have a button here. Now you can navigate by swiping left to right and right to left or you can skip it or you can navigate through these three dots. And when, once a page is selected, the dot will be changed and you can click next and it will take you to the next page or you can sk uh, skip it and it will take you to the last page now once you click done it will take you to the actual screen and since showing the user the onboarding screen every time the user enters the app is boring and the user will hate the app so once you click done it will take you to this page and it will never show you the onboarding screen again now if even if i close the application and open it again it will take me to this screen immediately so before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now let's get started. All right, I have already created a Flutter project for this tutorial. In the main function, I just have run app. In the run app class, I just have material app, Flutter onboarding as title, then theme data, then home, home screen. Now inside the home screen, I just have a scaffold. It's a stateless widget that has a scaffold and app bar, app screen and just first app screen with font size for the text. Now the first thing we have to do, we have to add a library to our popspec.yml. So let's go to the browser and we will use this library, introduction screen, so copy the dependencies and paste it after Cupertino icons. Then click pop get and once pop get finishes, close it and let's go to the lib and create a new dart file and let's call it introduction underscore screen now inside here first import material flutter material then create a stateless widget and let's call it intro screen now inside here let's return a scaffold with an app bar app bar with title const text and let's say on boarding and let's enter it all right now the body we will return introduction screen now inside the introduction screen we can specify pages it's a list of pages so let's go first to here here we have pages and row pages on done we have many attributes to send but let's see the pages the pages takes a list of page view model so let's go here and inside here let's create final and let's call it pages is equal to a list and let's specify the type of it it's page view model it's actually a list all right now inside here we can say page view model and in the page view model we can specify a title which is a string so I will say first page and we can specify description or body the body is actually the description so just say description for now and we can specify also footer the footer is we can specify it it's a widget so we can specify it as elevated button and inside the elevated button on the only press I will not do anything for now and with the child I'll create const text and let's say let's go we can also specify an image here but before we do so I've already created a directory called assets inside it we have three images so let's go to popspec.yml and edit it so we can use them so inside here I will uncomment this and make it like that now I will type assets here and click pop get all right now let's go back to the introduction screen and after the elevated button the footer we can specify an image now let's say center and child image dot asset and here we have to specify the key the path so it's assets slash one dot png they are all are png and if you'd like to you can also change the decoration so this takes page 
decoration and you can see that inside the page decoration the title text style is already set to font size 20 with font weight bold and the body text style is already set to 18 font size and normal font weight now you can change it so let's copy for example this and modify it and let's say title text style it's not 20 it's for example 25 and it's bold and let's have const here so it doesn't complain now this is our first page view model so you can copy it and paste it as many as you want so i will just say second page and just change the image and i will paste it one more time and i would say third image and change the image again and let me just minimize this and have a semicolon here so the pages inside here we can specify the pages we created all right now after we specify the pages we can actually change the dots decoration so we can say const dots decorator now inside here we can specify for example the size we can say size 10 by 10 with 10 height and we can specify color for example we can say colors dot blue and we also can specify active size so we can say size dot circular if you want to for example with 15 and we can specify active color and we can say for example colors dot red and after that and we have many of these so you can check them we have shape and active shape and we have spacing and you can check these as well now after the dots decorator we can specify done or show done show done button it's a boolean it takes true or false so we will say true now once you say show done you have to specify the done widget so as you can see done takes a widget so i will just say const text and sorry and i will say here done and i will give it a style of text style for font size 20 and i will actually copy this all right now we can say also show skip button and we can say true as well and we have to specify the skip widget so i will just paste this the done and I will just change the word all right we can also specify show next button so let's say true however the next widget I will not specify it as a text I will specify it as an icon so we can say const icon and icons dot arrow forward for example and we can specify size if you want to let's say 20 and now after this you can specify undone function and you can specify on change and on escape you can specify on escape now on escape by default takes you to the last page so, so I will keep it and I will just keep the undone now after this I'll create void and call it on done and it takes context now small o now inside here i will just navigate to the introduction uh, to the home screen so i will say navigator dot push replacement since we have to replace it and material page route and this builder take context as well and it will take us to the const home screen and just have semicolon here and <laughs> okay now that's it for the undone we can say only on done with the context now we are having an error here because this is constant and that's it so let's go back to the main and let's call this time the introduction screen to see how it appear and let's run our app okay before we run it we are having an error which is the constant here so let's remove it and now let's run the app to see how it appears 
all right the app is running and you can see we have the image we have the title we have the description and we have the button and we can sp swipe from left to right and we can click skip and it will take us to the last page and you can click on this next and it will take you to the next page and once we click done it will take us to the next screen but before we do that let me just add some padding here for the introduction screen all right and let's have it symmetric and let's have it vertical and let's change this to 24 and I also want to increase the dot size for example we can have it 20 and increase the icon size now let's save it and see how it appears and now it does appear better we can see the next button looks better now one more thing you can specify curve inside here for example curves dot past linear our bounce in out and you can save it now if you click on next the animation should have changed let's change it for example bounce out and save it and let's go here and you can see the animation change so you can change the animation as you like and that's it now once we click on done it will take us to this page however if we rerun the application it will take us to the onboarding screen first so this is an additional step for you you can go to the browser and we can use shared preferences so I will copy this dependency and I will go back to pubspec.html and I will add it inside here now close the app since we have to rerun it again and click pop get and wait for the dependency to be installed all right now after the dependency is installed let's go to the main and inside here let's our inside here let's make this async it's already an async so let's make final prefs is equal to await shared preferences dot get instance and then let's say inside here we want a bool which is let's say show is equal to true by default which means we want to show the onboarding and let's here say show is equal to await prefs dot get bool and let's memorize this key let's say on underscore boarding otherwise since this might return uh, null otherwise return it true and let's remove the await since we don't want it now inside here in the home let's say show if it's show we will show the introduction screen and if it's, if it's false we will show the home screen directly and let's have const here so it doesn't complain all right and that's it we will go back to the introduction screen and the undone let's make this async as well and i will actually copy this line final prefs is equal to shared preferences then get instance and import shared preferences now what we will do we will say await prefs dot set bool the key is on underscore boarding and it was capital all capital so on underscore boarding and the value is true or sorry the value is false all right and that's it now if we run the application first it will show us the onboarding screen and once we click done it will never show us the onboarding screen again unless we uninstall the app now if you want to you can have the settings of the app or somewhere you can show it show the user the onboarding screen again as you wish but for this tutorial we will do it like that all right now you can see it took me to the onboarding screen and i will click skip and click done now it took me to the app screen and if I rerun the application, it will keep me in this page, the app screen. And even if I close the application, and even if I close the application and open it again, it will take me to this screen. So that was all, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, make sure to like it and keep a comment down below and subscribe for more 
beautiful content so i will see you in the next video